Ah, <sighs> what a lovely spring day it is today. What better time to test out my latest audio splurge. Something that I was very curious about, so I had to purchase it because it was on a ridiculous sale. So let's talk about it. But uh, you might be wondering, well, how can this work outside? What kind of strange device is this? And secondly, where is it? Well, it's right on my face. It's these sunglasses, but these sunglasses have a secret. They have little speakers that run along this ridge right here and they're Bluetooth. So they connect to my phone. Are they any good? What do they sound like? Are they gonna be a nuisance to people all around me? Let's answer those questions, shall we? All right, some of you might be wondering, well, what the heck are these sunglasses? Well, they are the AU Lens sunglasses from AU Sounds. Normally they're over a hundred bucks, which I mean, truth be told, I think this is a bit expensive <laughs> for what they are and what they can do. Uh, but they were on a ridiculous sale for only 40 bucks. So I couldn't resist. So I was very curious to know how that actually translated to good sound versus headphones, convenience of having sunglasses on your face while on the go by, and still be able to listen to music while you do it or podcasts or whatever. Maybe you're on a hike, maybe you're on a run, or maybe you're just doing some yard work and you don't wanna have the bulkiness of headphones on your head or your ears. So you decided, you know what? Let's go with these sunglasses because then I can get the best of both worlds. The sun out of my face, out of my eyes, and some tunes at the same time. Pretty dope. But before we get into the details, let's talk about... To do this, let's consult the quick start guide. Mm. Download your AU Sounds product manual and quick start guide. <sighs> well, at least we're saving trees. Charge glasses for one hour before use. <sighs> okay, fine. Just FYI, it only comes with a USB cable, not a USB brick. So I'm sure nowadays a lot of you probably have some bricks lying around with all your other devices that you need to charge. So just FYI, you're gonna need to grab a USB brick from somewhere else just to charge these sunglasses. And you can see right here, these four magnetic dots on the right. That's where you attach the charging cable. Find your fit. The frames can be adjusted according to your personal comfort. It's not like it's a locked 30 degree position. It's just, they're kind of malleable, rubbery. So uh, yeah, I guess that's cool. Adjust music and call volume from your device only. Oh. So yes, there are no buttons that actually control the volume on the glasses themselves. You have to do it from your phone. Pairing. Press and hold the MFB button for five seconds from its power off state. So when these are powered off, hold this button here, MFB, whatever that means, the MF and button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Did you hear that? Hold on, let me put the microphone closer. Power on. Pairing mode. Then like any other Bluetooth device you're trying to pair to your phone, just go to your settings, Bluetooth. And as you can see, AU Lens is now on the list. Tap that and boom, connected. And when they are connected, you can hear the lovely lady's voice say that it is connected. Connected. Ta-da. And when you want to turn them off, just hold down that MFB button for a few seconds. Power off. There you go. This MFB button does have some control over some features, such as playing or pausing music. Just press the MFB button once. Doop. If you want to skip to the next track, quickly press the MFB twice. Boop, boop. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this does have a microphone on it, so you can answer calls. To answer a call or end a call, press the MFB once. Boop. To decline an incoming call, press the MFB twice. Boop, boop. I don't want to talk to you. To activate Siri or other voice assistants, press the MFB three times. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. And that's about it, folks. That'll set you up when you first get these sunglasses going. Now you can listen to music, skip a song, pause a song, answer an incoming call, end a call, not talk to somebody you don't want to talk to, and enjoy some hands-free listening while on the go on a nice sunny day. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, is that not what you were expecting? Well, here's some specs anyway. The Bluetooth version is 5.1. Bluetooth protocol is SBC and AAC. The Bluetooth range from your device is 32 feet or 10 meters. So I would just suggest to keep it in your pocket. The driver type is dynamic and the driver size is 15 millimeters. Ooh, that's a little driver. Frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The range of human hearing. Yay. Sound pressure level can get up to 118 decibels plus or minus three decibels. Am I gonna turn it up that loud? No way. These ears are my career, baby. I wanna protect them as much as I can. These specs claim that the total battery life is five hours on a single charge. And that's kind of roughly what I got too. I don't know, maybe somewhere between four and five is usually where it tapped out. So that's not too bad. So if you're on like a quick day hike, or yeah, like I said, if you're just on a quick run, they're not gonna run out of battery. If the charge is completely depleted, it says it takes about an hour and a half to charge it fully. And these babies only weigh 49 grams. A little bit more than your average sunglasses, of course, because, you know, they are a little bit thicker than you might imagine, but I mean, they have 15 millimeter drivers in them, so they've gotta be a little bit thicker and a little bit heavier than your normal sunglasses. But just by wearing them, I mean, it. Yeah, they don't really feel all that heavier than a normal pair of sunglasses, but not heavy enough to where it's going to be too much on the bridge of my nose or, you know, start to hurt my ears after a while. Eh. These are waterproof level IPTX4. So yeah, if you do want to take them on for a run or a hike on a hot day, they should be able to withstand any sweat that they might accumulate. These sunglasses are polarized by Polaroid lenses. And the frames themselves are made of acetate fiber. So yeah, they don't really feel all that cheap. It's very nice. Okay, maybe now let's get to the part you were all waiting for. Oh boy. Yeah, honestly, this part of the video is not gonna take too long because there's not much to say other than the fact that they're pretty darn good. Is there any bass response? No. <laughs> uh, these little tiny drivers, obviously, can't really reproduce much bass at all. Was that surprising to any of you? Probably not. And also when I was listening to some music um, for particularly bass heavy drops, or if you're listening to some heavy metal or something, and then there's a part where the drummer is going a little crazy on his kick drum, or maybe the chorus drops and all the instruments start playing at once. At those times, it kind of did sound a little bit distorted. But not to the point where I was like, oh my god, these suck. No, it's just a little bit present. You know what I'm saying? So that might be a little bit more annoying to some of you than others. But as far as the clarity, the clarity is actually very impressive. And the soundstage is very impressive as well. Since this isn't headphones you're listening to, where the cans are resting literally over your ears, the drivers themselves on these sunglasses are pointed at your ears. So the soundstage is kind of like kind of like forward and kind of where my forehead is, right? Like the, the center imaging happens to be kind of like up here. It's a very unique sound. I can't quite describe it, <laughs> obviously, but it is unique. And I was impressed. It was a full 180 degree sound stage. Dialogue sounded crystal clear. Guitar sounded punchy. So yeah, I'd say everything from about I don't know, 500 hertz and up sounded spectacular. Are you going to get the same fidelity as if you were listening to some headphones that rested on your ears or over your ears? No, but it is definitely a very unique soundstage that some of you might find very cool. Plus me personally, I can't stand running with over the ear headphones on. Can you? I've just personally never enjoyed running with those kinds of headphones on, but these, yeah, I don't care if I run with these, these are just fine. 
It's a, as if I'm just wearing normal sunglasses while running. If you're a big fan of listening to podcasts, oh man, these are perfect. So you're not dealing with any significant bass response because it's just a human voice. And what's also really cool is that it's not going to disturb anyone around you. If you take these sunglasses off, it's barely noticeable. You can barely hear it. So they're designed to work well only when you're wearing them. So yeah, these would be perfect on a hike. And if you have to be passing someone, they're not going to hear anything. Well, they might hear something, but it's going to be so, so quiet that they'd actually have to be really trying to listen. So it's not like you're going around on some beachcomber bike with a boom box attached to it where everybody and their dog can hear what you're listening to. No, this is a lot more intimate than that. They won't be able to hear it because they're not actually wearing the sunglasses. So I'd say these are just as private as wearing over the ear headphones or earbuds or whatever. And you look so cool while doing it, right? Am I right? So cool. Anywho, so just to recap, soundstage is cool complete 180 degrees, bass response, almost non-existent, and it's very private. If I were to rate these, I'd give them, I don't know, three out of four Bluetooth logos. But honestly, only if they're on sale. Like I said at the beginning, would I pay over $100 for these? Not a chance. But for 40 bucks? Yeah, man. I'm glad I have these in my bag of tricks. You never know when you might need them. So there you have it, folks. I know this was kind of a fun, quirky product to review, but I wanted to do it because I was super curious to see what they actually sounded like. And now that you know these even exist, do you think you're gonna get some for yourself? As always, please be kind to each other out there. Don't just watch TV and movies, experience them. And you know, get outside. Man, it's a gorgeous day today, so I had to get outside and let the sun hit my skin, you know what I'm saying? And of course, always be listening. 